What's up everyone? John Ritten from Techno Buffalo here and I've got a two for one unboxing for you. This is the Asus Pad Phone X. It's a phone, it's a tablet, it's a one device does everything for you. Let's go and take a first look, see what it's all about. So here is the box for the Asus Pad Phone X. It is a big box, typical AT&T orange. I do want to give the disclaimer that this is a pre-production unit, so it's pre-production hardware and pre-production software. Uh, we don't know price, we don't know release date, but we do know it's going to cost something and it is indeed coming soon. It's a very novel idea. So what it is, it's a phone that docks into a tablet. So you get sort of two for one. Uh, one of the big advantages of this though, especially with a carrier like AT&T, is that you only have to pay one data plan to sort of get two functional devices, which is kind of neat. So I'll run through all the specs. Here is the tablet part of it. I think the phone, you can clearly see where the phone is going to go right in the back. Push that off to the side for a quick second. Let's see if the phone is going to live in here. This is kind of a... Neat unboxing of two devices in one. Pull off that tray and here is the phone part. This is like a two for here, it's two for the price of one. Uh, so push that, see what else we're going to have inside the box. Probably lots of charging cables I would wager. Uh, there is your charging brick with USB. There is a pair of headphones and there's a micro USB cable. And in this side, warranty information and that's about it. So I push the box off to the side, toss that on the floor, and we got a lot of stuff to look at here. Uh, so let's start with the phone. I'll go ahead and peel off all the plastic here. Uh, and off the bat, it feels like a very solid uh, device. Um, now let's take off the plastic on the tablet part of it. Boom, two whooshy noises in one unboxing video. Pretty neat. Okay, so let's run through the specs. Uh, what we are looking at, at least on the phone, is a five inch display with a 1920 by 1080 resolution, 441 PPI, so that's full HD. Uh, Android 4.4 at launch, 2.3 gigahertz, Qualcomm Snapdragon 800, that's a quad core chip, two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs internal storage, but you can expand that with micro SD. It's got a 13 megapixel shooter living right there. Two megapixel shooter right on the front, 802.11 A, B, G, and an AC, Bluetooth 4.0, and a 2300 milliamp hour battery. It also has a wireless charger, which I really like to see. Uh, the back of it is sort of a soft touch plastic. It looks to be a little bit fingerprinty, uh, but not too bad. So again, as I mentioned, the idea here is that you take the phone, and you dock it into the tablet. Uh, the specs on the tablet, sort of just an extension uh, of the phone. Uh, we are gonna get a nine inch display with gigantic bezels, uh, giving it a 1920 by 1200 resolution. Uh, it's got a one megapixel front facing camera there, but it will use the back camera when you've got it uh, in tablet. So it'll use that 13 megapixel shooter. It also has a battery built in. It's almost 5,000 milliamp hours of 4,990. So it'll keep powering your device. It also will charge the phone uh, when you drop it in here, so it's kind of neat. Let's take a quick look at the phone and then we'll sort of dock these two all together. So go ahead and unlock this. And you can see sort of Asus's take on Android. Uh, it's a light skin, it's not overly giant. It looks like, you know, they kind of let Android be Android. Uh, and it is Android 4.4, uh, at least at launch, which is quite nice. But let's just go and confirm that because specs can always change from what gets announced to uh, what actually makes its way to the phone. So let's scroll down to the bottom. But about, looks very similar to what LG has done. Um, Android 4.4.2 uh, is here on the device. On the left hand side, we've got nothing. On the front, you've got uh, on screen buttons. So you've got your back button, your home button, your multitasking button living right there. On the right, volume up and down and power and lock. Microphone, 3.5 millimeter headset jack. On the bottom, that is where your micro uh, USB charging port is going to live. All right, let's go ahead and dock this guy and see what happens. So it looks like it just drops on in. So go ahead and have the back facing out. So you've got the ability to use a camera. It slides in pretty easily. Push it down, you get a bit of a click. The tablet vibrates. And now you're using a full-fledged Android tablet with its own sort of uh, OS here. And again, kind of neat because all your information is going to go back and forth because you're using exactly the same device. Um, when the phone is in it, it feels a little bit on the heavy side. And again, these bezels are... Uh, significant, but you do get two devices with only one data plan. So you're getting really your money's worth um, with this device. And you do get a pretty nicely specced phone too. It's sort of on par with uh, the latest flagship handsets uh, from a screen standpoint and from a processor and spec standpoint. Uh, on the tablet side, power button in the upper left hand corner, uh, really nothing else uh, around it. Uh, volume is going to live on the left and there is a charging port uh, on the bottom of the left side. 
uh, for charging the device. So the folks at AT&T also sent us some other accoutrements to do with it. We've got a mobile dock, which is a dock. It's a, a keyboard accessory. It also has, I believe, an external battery in it. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. Go ahead and do a little slice action. Cut, you plastic. All right, go ahead and open this up. At least attempt to. God, get out of their box. There we go. So we get like three unboxings here uh, in one video. So here is the keyboard, kind of making this a laptop, a hybrid. And this is gonna be, probably be a very a heavy device when you sort of couple this together. But uh, there it is, it looks like it just drops right on in. Uh, nothing else in the box. Do a little bit of this. And now you've got sort of an Ultrabook Android tablet uh, that you can take with you. And this is what it looks like with the phone uh, docked in it. So there's quite a lot of parts uh, moving here as well. There also uh, are cases that go with it. We've got a folio bundle here. Uh, it's a case that sort of encompasses the phone and the tablet as you sort of prop it up. But we've seen things like this in the past. So here is the full Asus Pad Phone X with all of its accessories ready to go. Anyway, guys, please let me know what you think. Love to hear your thoughts. Leave in the comments down below. Until next time, I'm John Rittinger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe right here. Be the first ones to know whenever new videos get uploaded. We got a ton of stuff. We do phones, tablets, cars, anything that has to do with consumer electronics that has to be plugged in or uses batteries, we review.